back at it again with some more heat. We got DLG this week on Ascending Artist with Mass Mortal. DLG is kind of starting to come into the game. Really smooth artist, really good with beats, mixes, production. If you haven't heard Inside of My Eyelids or one of my personal favorites, Stay Close. Give it a listen. Stay Close is an absolute vibe. He doesn't have music for a specific genre, so he's kind of like all over the place. Kind of has vibes like No Suits or Sebastian Paul. Before you do anything else, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be part of the Nodi gang. You know the vibes here. Without further ado, on the seventh episode of Ascending Artist with Mass Mortal, we got DLG. How you doing, man? Doing good, man. Thank you for having me. Hell yeah, I'm excited. This is gonna be a good one. So I got, I'm getting good vibes already from it. So. Hell yeah, bro. All right. So music industry. How did you get into it? Um. Uh, so I started like really young playing classical guitar. So that's like where I kind of get my musical um, roots. Is just playing classical guitar, like doing the whole class. Like I was into that scene, like doing recitals and shit when I was younger. And then okay. when I was in like middle school, probably I started, you know, I got, got my first laptop. I got garage band, just started recording shit on garage band. And then, you know, it kind of picks up from there. Like uh, end of my senior year of high school, I think was like when I had a buddy who showed me Ableton, um, which is what I use now. And, and I really got into producing and got more into that in college throughout that and started like dropping a song here or there. And then it all just kind of snowballs like over time, just gradually and gradually. And then one day you look up and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> like, it's like, look, at, look at what I've done already. Yeah, so yeah that's awesome. Like, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. But just, just slowly, steady, grinding my way to, to get where I am and, and uh, keep putting out music. Hell yeah. I was about to say, basically what you have right now, like your your kind of genre aspect, I mean, it's just vibes. Like it literally, it's really good vibes anywhere you go. Uh, I'm telling you, stay close. When I first heard that, I was like, oh, hell yeah. Who is it? Ryan sent me that a while back. And I was just like, yeah, this is a vibe, man. I can I can totally tell. So hell but, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, man. I mean, like, I think for me with like, yeah, the genre thing is funny, man, because uh, for a while I was kind of I was tripping about not like I feel like a, at least the stuff that I put out now and honestly a lot of the stuff that I'm about to put out it's not super like co like the sounds aren't the same it's not necessarily all the same type of like instrumentals and stuff like that so for a while I was tripping about having something that wasn't like necessarily fitting into one genre or fitting into one style or something but I think I've really come to accept that like I enjoy making stuff that's kind of all over the place i never really want to put a cap on my creativity like that um and people have also reassured me that like having my voice on stuff helps keep it cohesive um yeah. in that regard but but yeah i appreciate it man i would no. stay close was a great it was a fun one to make man yeah that, i feel like that would have been just fun to be there with that one so hell yeah okay artist wise who's your biggest music inspiration we'll go with that yeah okay so it's really funny like it's it's probably like not I don't I have a lot I'll put it that way it'd probably okay. be hard to rattle off the whole list but I will say like Isaiah Rashad is a huge one for me oh hell yeah um, I've been waiting on his new he like just posted some shit and yeah just saw like, that I think his album so he what album in June's coming out and I think he's got a song coming out is it this Friday or next Friday I think I actually didn't even check. I, I honestly just saw it like just before this. So I'm going to check, but I, it can't come soon enough, man. I've been waiting <laughs> on this project for so fucking long, but um, Isaiah Rashad's like a big one. Um, also like Bonobo, um, totally different type of artist from Isaiah Rashad, but like Bonobo is one of my favorite artists. The like way that like instrumental orchestral music is combined with, like kind of house um production and like yeah. and just his own flavor i don't know man. i like black sands is probably one of my favorite albums front to back of all time um and yeah bonobo's huge i mean i grew up listening to a ton of beatles man like so okay. like my parents were big into <laughs> beatles so when i was really young it was like just beatles albums in the car like nonstop. so I got to I got to shout out the Beatles. Throw the for Beatles sure. in there. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, they're great <laughs> songwriters, dude. It's a Oh yeah. Top tier. Top tier, man. S tier. But yeah, so um definitely all over the place like uh, I get a lot of inspiration just from producers like like Bonobo, but also from like people like Isaiah Rashad and like Mac Miller is a huge one. Um and uh like just people whose 
like voices are something I can I can try to emulate and try to you know um, tap into that style um, with because I have kind of like a raspy voice and like I can sing smoother but I really I love Mac Miller's kind of cadence on on his songs I love Isaiah Rashad I love that let's say those those like styles those cadence are like different you know it's like a different unique aspect i think that both of them carry to the table so hell yeah yeah totally i mean they're they're unique and like but i think just for me like i kind of hear similarities in there and i I like i like kind of picking things styles that i like from different artists um like that but yeah i there's so many i i could go on (laughs) i could go on for hours about all my musical inspirations but got you uh, got you so kind of off that what are you listening to right now like what's your what's your go-to I guess you could say I know you just you just said like Isaiah Rashad you know yeah but uh what are you listening to right now what's your go-to let's pull up the uh let's pull my recent rotation playlist. <laughs> let's see what I'm, rock- I'm rocking uh I've been listening to a lot of Heather um H-E-T-H-E-R Heather's oh, okay. dope just really like kind of kind of lo-fi indie uh type shit um on that same like uh kind of indie psychedelic wave um crumb just dropped an album that is okay. awesome i love crumb that band is crazy um they're just like this i mean they're just like acid trip music for sure but just amazing like everything's immaculately produced all the songs are just so cool man and their videos are awesome um i'll have to check video, that out for sure yeah they're check check out the you should look up the the video for lock it by crumb Lock it that, video is, right. that video is crazy <laughs> that's like if that's gonna that's a, a good like first introduction to them okay uh, yeah so like a lot of psychedelic stuff i always listen to a ton of still woozy um oh yeah still woozy is always always a good vibe love still woozy and like chicano batman i've been listening to a lot of them lately okay. they're dope um yeah little dragon tour we moi some like r&b stuff man yeah, yeah i got a on on uh on my spotify profile at the very bottom like i have a recent rotations playlist and it's just kind of i just throw in songs from projects vibe into hell yeah yeah so if anyone wants to check out what i'm listening to like in my day to day uh they can go scope that kind of stalk you a little bit all right yeah go for it in (laughs) my brain so kind of my thing is making playlists but i kind of want to get your opinion on if you had to pick five songs that would be like your top tier life songs like you can't live without what would they be oh it's a tough question because like there's so much good music out there honestly that's such a tough question i think okay top would <laughs> yeah not like top this is in no particular order oh you i would it. say ordinary pleasure by toro y moi fucking um, i love that song i could listen i do i probably listen to that song every day <laughs> <laughs> um Let's see. I would say Really Love by D'Angelo off of Black Messiah. Okay. Um, uh, Feel Good Inc. by the Gorillas. I could listen. <laughs> I could listen to that song. That's forever. a real good one right there. Hell yeah. That's a like good That's like that song. I don't know. For me, that song never got overplayed. I just some songs like they're good, but then they just are on the radio so yep. much and you just get sick of them. I never got sick of that one. <laughs> so uh that one we could do let's see probably four to squaw uh by isaiah rashad is in there okay Solid. Love, love that song oh dude this is hard last one uh, <laughs> you good you good i don't know i listened to like a ton of like jazz shit too i could throw some jazz in there we'll do oh i left out king cruel i gotta throw king cruel in there <laughs> uh it would be alone omen three by king cruel i love that song solid solid i was about to say that's a nice little solid mix in there oh yeah a little bit of a little bit of here and there but like those are those are just probably the songs that like at least recently in the last like year uh maybe two years like i listen to those songs so much <laughs> so, <laughs> there's always I, I, I feel like everybody's kind of got those like you know those five six songs that it's like all right let me go back to it today like i haven't heard that in like a day so yeah, yeah. king cruel is king cruel is one of my like art i can listen to king cruel all the time um another one of my big artistic inspirations that i failed to mention earlier gotcha gotcha 
Uh, so your fans, what do you want your fans to get out of your music? Like if, uh, when they go to a concert, like get home from a concert or even they're just listening, vibing to your music, what do you want them to take out of it? I mean, I, I really think that's like, I think that's for the fan to decide. Um, I've always been like a proponent of, of, I, I've, I really like when someone comes to the table with their own meaning or their own importance to like something that I've made. Um. And so, you know, I'm always happy to share like what my thoughts were behind a song or what like it means to me. But I, I especially love when people can take that, put it to the side and like have something else that a song means to them. And then like, I mean, for concerts, dude, like the kind of concerts that I love are, are a concerts where like, I am just like wowed by what's going on on stage. Yeah. Or B concerts that just bring energy and just like, I mean, all of my favorite concerts are ones that me and my friends, we just all wanted to go get front row as badly as we could. And we're just jumping around. Like, I don't even know which direction the stage is. Anymore. <laughs> um, so like, you know, we'll see. I'm just, I'm just now starting to like figure out what my live show is going to look like. Cause this whole year has been kind of a wash for that. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope to bring at least one of those things, if not both to the table. Um, and, uh, just, I just want people to have a good time. I just want people to listen to the music that amplifies what they're feeling and like helps them do whatever they are doing, you know? Hell yeah. Just kind of have a good ass time vibe out. And like you're saying, yeah, just find yeah, what you like in music is, you know, everybody's got their own thing when it comes to music. So totally totally. uh anything you got coming out this year like you got any uh some new singles coming out an ep i think i heard of something about an ep coming out (laughs) i got uh i do have an ep coming out it's looking like end of summer um is when that's gonna drop but i man i've got so much stuff that i'm like i'm really it's really funny and i'm sure a lot of artists will tell you the same thing but the first 80 percent of making like a song takes like a day or two sometimes <laughs> like sometimes less like i've gotten i've been you know making a song that just came together in like an hour and then the last 20 percent of just getting those like final finishing touches what you think are f- like finishing touches uh yeah. end up escalating and so i have a lot of stuff where i'm like i'm in that last 20 percent that's ended up <laughs> taking me a little bit of time but yeah i got i got definitely uh at least two maybe three more singles before the ep and then i've got like probably another ep's worth of stuff kind of on the on the back burner for afterwards and additionally i'm going to seattle um pretty soon here you know i'm I'm from austin texas but i'm uh i'm going to seattle i'm i'm staying with a a close producer homie we're turning the whole uh, house into a recording studio and we're working on a bunch of like demos that we've kind of also had on the back burner for the past year and I mean, we could probably make with those tracks and like probably three or four others. I mean, that's probably a whole album's worth of stuff. So I, I mean, my goal is really to like now that it's easy to like link up with with all these talented musicians. That I'm blessed to know, like, I just want to go get in the same room with people, start cranking stuff out, start making sure that those that last 20 percent gets done <laughs> on all the shit that I need to do it on and uh and start dropping some stuff for everybody but yeah to the wall just get it out hell yeah man dude get it out yeah i'm very i'm very very excited it's it's tough making like i mean especially this year you know i i it's i i do a lot of my stuff in-house you know i i write i record i produce everything it's my veterans little studio that being said like making music with other people is it's the best man like that is what to me that's my favorite thing about music is collaborating is being in a room and like jamming with people and and uh i've met awesome people that way and i've made my favorite music ever with other people so that's something i really like this year it it was tough and i made a lot of good songs that i really liked but it's like not having someone in the room as like a backboard to be like, yo, what do you think of this thing or this thing or someone else to just bring an idea to the table that like you would just never think of. Like there's so many things that seem so simple after like, you know, my homie says it 
and I'm just like, I would never would have thought of that. And like, that's the the beauty of collaboration. So yeah, I want to hit the ground running. I want to get a lot more artists in the mix um, with my tracks and just like make some of my coolest shit ever. <laughs> that's that's the Hell yeah. So I say, you know, being able to have like those, like build those relationships with artists and everything too. That's just awesome, man. So, yeah. so, but Hey, thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate it a lot. You know, it was a pleasure. It was a nice time. So, and hopefully you have a good trip over to Seattle too, you know, a good four months. So thank you, man. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Hell yeah. Thank you again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be part of the Nodi gang. Watch out for heat dropping every week.